history of old California. I've spent the last 24 months researching and writing this piece. Uh, and it's kind of interesting because you know you live in a town, you think you live in a town for 30 years, that you will know what, what the history of that town is. And I have to be honest with you, it wasn't until we started moving into the research of this thing that I began to realize that I didn't know, really know anything about this town, at least the history. And so it really intrigued me in terms of things that I didn't know, about places I didn't know, uh, and people, mainly uh, the people. I'm very excited about the things that we've discovered in the research process. Uh, I had some wonderful researchers who, who did some great work uh, in gathering materials and gathering historical artifacts and lessons and having Dr. Ruben Mendoza from the mission here uh, as our scholar really cemented us in terms of our research. The San Juan Oratorio piece tries to cover from the early 1700s to 1906, which is, it ends with the earthquake here in San Francisco. Uh, it's been a tremendous experience in just learning not only the material, but also adapting what I've learned to music. And so the hard part was really trying to select uh, which story we were going to write about. And so, you know, after, after all, that, all, those, all that time of research and, and looking at all the material, I realized that we couldn't possibly tell a detailed story of, uh, of the history of San Juan. We could tell a rendering of that history. And that's what the oratory really is all about. It's, it's really about the people here in San Juan, the people who affected the history of this town, and more importantly, the importance of the fact that that history is still alive. Uh, because the oratorio requires access to images, content, documentary, historical materials, uh, I offered to assist in any way I could. And as a result, uh, we recruited uh, Sherry Renee Harder, uh, one of my former uh, undergraduate and graduate students, uh, to undertake research uh, related specifically to the Native American presence in San Benito County, and in particular, Old Mission San Juan Bautista. Sherry Harder undertook that research. Uh, I've been assisting with, uh, you know, assisting her and Daniel and Armida with uh, tracking down materials that relate to their production. In the course of the production, uh, we have met repeatedly for the purposes of specific types of images that were called for in order to see through the production. Uh, this has entailed mainly uh, historic photos uh, dating all the way back to the 1860s for the old mission uh, and through to more recent times. In addition, Jewel Gentry uh, tracked down uh, music from the mission era at the Bancroft Library. And one of those pieces was a piece that uh, is a Te Deum, uh, which is uh, essentially a hymn devoted to God and to prayer. Uh, and it was annotated uh, by Fray Arroyo de la Cuesta, uh, who is now rather famed and was the individual or the Franciscan friar who uh, basically interpreted the languages of the Mutsan people. Uh, in that, uh, we have annotations that suggest that the Te Deum was translated into the Mutsan language. It's not at all clear that, in fact, uh, it is a direct translation of that piece, but Jewel Gentry was able to do the research behind that and assist Daniel and Armida Valdez with tracking that material. One of the areas that I was interested in, and he thought I should do research, was during the Spanish and the Mexican era. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. Uh, I've been gathering a lot of information here locally because there's a lot of available research local, locally here in San Juan Bautista at a local library. There was a lot of books written about San Juan Bautista that I was able to get from the, the state of California or the Parks Department. The mission, the mission had some research. Um, and I w was also able to get some of the research from the uh, internet. Well, at the state park, we were allowed to go through the, the collections there and select images to be used, which they then took back to Monterey to be scanned. But it included photographs of the Hook and Ladder Company, the families, the Breen family, the Zanettas. We found a photograph of Mr. Zanetta's dog, which is going to be in the production, and the Zanetta children on a horse. Um, photographs of some of the early Mission Indians. Um, photographs of uh, Tiburcio Vasquez that will be in this production, including one photograph montage which has all of the folks who helped capture him and then him and the place he was captured down in LA. Um, they were incredibly generous as well. They 
um, extended the number of photographs that we were allowed to use and um, found more things afterwards that, we, that they allowed us to use.